Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more of a video on the uh, build of the Tesla Atlas uh, 2 version 2. Um, as you see, this is a fully completed uh, one of the blades in the two parts. So you've got the uh, the, the panel that joins them together uh, on the outside, uh, the arrow uh, pointing to the flat, uh, uh, smaller uh, side of the blade. You've then got the aluminium uh, support struts on the outside and then on the inside, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to double, uh, the, obviously the, the, the screws aren't long enough here, so I've, uh, I've used some Loctite uh, to make sure that the, they don't come undone. Ideally, I would have wanted slightly longer bolts here and, and I would have double bolted. Uh, I've been able to do that on the bolts they provided on the bottom. Um, these here I'll also double up, uh, certainly on, on at least uh, two pairs of them. Um, on the uh, pre-drilling of the uh, spurs, uh, as you can see, I've had to drill a, uh, a sort of a, a second hole next to the one because of the uh, uh, misalignment of the first. But uh, that's the only error I've found on the pre-drilling. Right, okay, let's have a look at the uh, finished uh, turbine and I'll give you a few uh, hints and tips about putting this together. So uh, if you saw just a bit early on I did the the individual blades. One thing that's worth mentioning, um, I had to uh, readjust this, before you put it together make sure that these two pieces are absolutely flush with the top of the blade otherwise they won't go flat against the uh, plate for the, uh, the, the, the spindle bush. Uh, you'll need to do you need to take it off and do it again. So that's one thing. The other thing to note is as you put it together uh, I've uh, actually so this is the bottom and the top. I've actually uh, done the bottom spindle first Then I've put the shaft in and then I've put the top uh, spindle plate on the reason for that is I found on the first version one that the shaft isn't completely uh, sort of uh, a, a sort of uh, smooth fit through both bushes and so if you try and sort of shove it in at the, at the top through here you'll get stuck and you'll damage it so the best thing to do is to put the shaft in first uh, tighten it up at the bottom and then uh, tighten the the the, the, uh, the top plate on after that one other thing worth noting is the uh, bolts that go through the bush uh, to attach to the, the spindle uh, threads um, if you try and uh, put uh, the, well, the top top in first is fine. If you then try and put the bottom in here, you might find that there's a big misalignment uh, between the holes, and that's probably because uh, you probably need, you probably ought to leave the bolts between the two pieces uh, the two pieces of the uh, of the blade loose to allow a bit of movement, and therefore to allow the shaft and the base middle to move. Uh, I didn't. I'd already tightened these up, and it was a bit of a pain. Uh, I had to sort of put some compression on uh, to get the uh, bolts to move in. So my advice would be uh, you to put the bolts in before you actually um, before you actually tighten up uh, these parts, two parts of the blade. So I know a lot of you are uh, interested in the actual turbine in itself. Um, as you can see, uh, I think when I did the earlier video, I said that the turbine was bigger than before. I think actually the actual turbine itself is exactly the same. What's bigger is the casing. Uh, and the reason for that, uh, I was also wondering why the uh, shaft was uh, non-centric. Uh, it's because that they've put a separate, uh, but a separate shaft position in uh, and connected the turbine with this uh, belt and gearing mechanism. Uh, and clearly, thanks Nuno for this. Uh, he's calculated it's about a three to one uh, ratio uh, of the uh, of the uh, of the sort of shaft turning. So you know, one turn of the the actual turb uh, of the wind turbine blades itself shaft will create three turns on the turbine. So I suspect there's some suggestion that that will improve the um, uh, the the power uh, generation at, l at particularly at low speed. Um, I have a couple of concerns. I mean, one, obviously, the additional friction you're going to get means that you're not going to get uh, the same amount of turns. Uh, you know, the, the wind uh, pressure on the blades will not give you the same amount of uh, turning as you got before. Uh, there should be a, an improved gearing. Uh, but the other thing is, it's a fairly, it's a fairly sort of standard um, belt. <laughs> I don't really fancy getting up there and replacing the belt every time it goes. I'll have to figure out how you'd actually get in 
uh, and replace that without uh, having to pull the whole turbine down. But anyway, that's what it is. It's um, it's a geared it's a geared uh, um, system uh, with the shaft uh, uh, the main shaft off set off center. Uh, I'll put it all back together and we'll try and get it up on the uh, mast.